All right, guys, the family, welcome back to Lair's Anything Goes. Hopefully, you guys are having a great and exceptional Monday. Um, officially a month away from my birthday, and I will be turning 40 years old. So, I'm saying adios to my 30s, and it's all good in the neighborhood, as they say, but it is what it is. But, anyways, today's word of the day is um, instant state. Instant, insensate, not instant state, but insensate stands for. Um, unconscious, lacking sensibility, unfeeling, uh, and all that good stuff. And, you know, a lot of times during the holidays, people have a, a, a sense of, of not having really much of consciousness in regards to who they are or where they're going. You know, it's like I've been saying, you got a lot of the new year, new me, um, mindsets being posted all over social media in various different forms and various different ways. And then, you know, you have the people that have, they know exactly what they're going to be doing in the new year or what they want to do in the new year. Um, and they have a, a, hopefully for the most part, they have a well laid out plan. They have the right people and, co and contacts, but you know, road bumps and roadblocks are always going to come into play. And there's always going to be something that you can't foresee. You might be prepared for, but you can't foresee that it's going to happen. But preparedness and being ready, or as this old school saying, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Um, always know, like my mother is a great person, wouldn't be the man of who I am without her, but she worries about everything and that's just in her nature. And that's cool. Uh, my mindset is when I go, I know like, especially where I grew up in the DMV area, no matter what you do, I think this is in most metropolitan areas. You know, that there's going to be an issue that you don't anticipate. You know, that if you're going to do, for an outing, there's going to be traffic, there's going to be some drama. And my mindset nowadays, if you expect the worst, that means you're not disappointed if the worst happens. You know, and if you expect the worst and the worst doesn't happen, then, hey, it's all good. But always know that something crazy is going to happen. It's never going to run smoothly and perfectly. Relationships, being a parent, having a job, having a business, going out to have fun, traveling, whatever the case, going to work out, there's always going to be something. <laughs> so if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. This is very simple on that aspect. So today's quote of the day by Deion Sanders, which I'm still not mad at the decision he made. It was his decision as a personal choice. He did what he could do at Jackson State. Now it's time for him to move on. Um, but anyways, and one of my favorite quotes by him, he says, I felt like a deer with 100 hunters um, coming after me. And I'm sure he's feeling like that right now because everybody, you know, people have their mixed emotions, and mixed opinions in regards to the decision he made to, to leave Jackson State University and to go to um, Denver, University of Denver or University of Colorado. And because um, I'm not going to act like I, I don't watch football. I don't I'm not a um, you know, I, I don't follow these, these schools and these teams because it's just for me, it's useless information because I don't make any money off of it and it doesn't entertain me. So that's why it's useless. There's things that entertain me that I'll make money off of, but they're usually called a good t television show or a good movie and they barely make any of those anymore. So, I mean, like the only show I'm really following now is Snowfall and The Godfather of Harlem. Those are the only really new shows that are out and about that I'm watching. And I caught them late like I always do because I don't follow entertainment like I used to. But anyways, I digress. But anyways, we all we are all deers in this life of ours, you know, and usually the deers, the ones that they get hit by a car um, because, you know, their environments being torn up around them torn down around them and developments happening from housing to commercial real estate to a highway to a road so they get end up getting into to the middle of a road and getting hit by a car unfortunately you know these things do happen um but or they're out in the middle of the woods and you have people that are hunters i'm not i'm not a fan of hunting um i'm not you know but i'm not shaming hunters if that's what you do that's your thing you know but you always have a chance to get you know as a as get shot at or get killed and it's the same thing for everyday human beings. You always have a chance of, you, you have a target on you, no matter what the situation may be. Now, it might not be a target to kill you, but it's a target for um, an entity to say, hey, you got a bill, um, you're in collections, um, your your identity has been stolen, um, you get what the, you get with a significant other, and this could be man or female, whatever, um, and you unfortunately end up having a child with, well, I'm not going to say unfortunately, you you fortunately have a child with this person, but then they pull the one, they can put people are great at acting. They pull a 180 on you and the man or woman starts acting like a fool and they could, you know, they, um, they take you to child support court, even though you're doing your best to be the best mother or father, or they, um, they hire people to set you up to make you look like the bad person. Things can happen. You know, like you Russian roulette with having relationships with the wrong people in today's world is higher than ever because, um, 
and it, it's always been high, but it's, to me, it's the highest than ever because you have you're going to have a connection. That's why I said do your best to have um, kids with the right, at least the right people. They might not be the right person for you, but at least let them be the right people of sound mind and judgment into the aspect of hey, that you can be good co-parents of one another because not everybody's going to be meant out to work with each other. Um, or not even just kids, it's being getting married. You know, somebody can get married to somebody and they can pull the 180 on you. You know, you always have to be a detective and an investigator and everything in this life, life, especially nowadays, because there's more scammers out here in the open, especially because of the inception of, you know, social media and whatnot. It just it, it makes it more easier for people to get access to you because of social media. So um, that's all I have to say on that aspect. Remember that you are you have a you always have a target on your back. And if you're a righteous person, you're always going to be outnumbered. So just be, be mindful of who you're dealing with. And that's why, you know, keeping that circle small or at sometimes at one or two or even zero is probably one of the most smartest things that anybody can do nowadays, because people, um, you know, unfortunately you have a lot of great people out here, but then you have a lot of cr crappy people. I think the numbers actually even itself out. So you always got to be mindful. I always say, um, when I approach people, I don't try to be a jerk, but in a sense, I try to be like the CIA. Um, you're guilty until proven innocent. So I leave it at that. So on that note, do the great day for things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care.